this news coming out of Austria has prophetic significance to it because this is not just something that's going to affect them, but eventually it will affect the entire world. We'll break it down in more detail in just a second, guys. First, if you could, please like this video, share it, hit the bell, subscribe, and wear the glasses because I'm blind. Also, if you could, consider making a generous donation to our ministry. We're demonetized on YouTube. They don't support us. You could help us out, though, in a major way through PayPal or Patreon. If you guys enjoy the daily video content we put out, talking about end-time Bible prophecy headlines and our ministry of getting people to Jesus Christ for five bucks a month there, PayPal, PayPal and Patreon. We put out all the links for the YouTube videos so you get alerted every time new content arrives. We also include Rumble exclusives. That's right. You guys got to go sub to my Rumble as well. That link is down below. You're going to get videos there not found on YouTube. And sometimes we even put out you know, early access videos on Rumble before they hit YouTube. So go check it out. All the links are down below. The support is greatly appreciated. Thank you to everybody who already does. And for those thinking of doing so, thank you as well. Your generosity is greatly appreciated. So this news coming out is uh, quite significant because Austria has now become the first European country to completely mandate the jab upon all eligible citizens. Now, a lot of times when I've, you know, done other news stories about the jab, you know, how they're requiring jab passports, you know, to access restaurants and businesses, so on and so forth. We haven't really talked about an outright mandate upon all citizens, you know, just let's just exclude the businesses and everything for right now. No, all citizens. Now, to give you a little bit of a background on how this all came to be, it was just about a week ago that Austria had imposed a national lack, a lockdown on all unjabbed residents of the country. However, that was extended to all residents of the country, whether jabbed or unjabbed, due to a rising number of cases in the country that had the leaders there very nervous you had the brand new chancellor who uh, just took over about a month ago after the previous one that held the position had resigned because of corruption charges and allegations that they were facing. But the new chancellor had sat down with the nine governors of the nine different provinces there in Austria. And they said, look, we didn't want to have to do this. We really didn't, but we have failed in getting to convince the residents about the importance of going out there and getting jabbed. They had even said there would have been no way Austria would have ever imposed a national jab mandate upon citizens, yet they've just done that now. They believe that this is the path forward to making this magically all go away, despite everything we know now about this deal and how being jabbed we know means absolutely nothing at all. But, it's never been about that, right? Of course not. So as of February 1st, 2022, that is the date that all eligible residents of Austria must be fully jabbed. Now, what are the consequences? They've yet to say that. But I would say that if you're not jabbed, you're not gonna be considered a member of society you won't be able to access anything. I'm talking not even a grocery store because even for, you know, the countries, even, you know, France has even done this in some grocery stores, but not all, that if you're not jabbed, you won't be able to access anything. You won't be able to work, to eat, to purchase anything. Sound familiar? Oh, I don't know. Revelation chapter 13? Yeah, I think so. Now, you could say that there's a possibility, and I'm sure they're going to, you know, release more details on, you know, as far as the consequences go. As of right now, they only have 65% of their country fully jabbed. They have 9 million residents that live in the country of Austria. Now, would they arrest them? Possibly. But you can't arrest everybody. You know, you take that, you know, 35% that aren't jabbed and you're going to put them all in a jail. I mean... They might do some, but hey, there's a very good chance that the Austrian government might just say, you know what, let them rot in their homes. What do we care? Because if they're not going to be one of us, if they're not going to 
do the right thing and be jab and be a part of our new society, well, then they just let them perish. See, they're okay with that. <laughs> they, they don't care. It's not about that. It's about something higher for them. And whether they know it or not, and maybe some do, they are already, they are already paving the ground for the Antichrist to show up. You have to understand that these nations are going to be fully ready to submit all power and authority over to one ruler. See, that's not talked about enough right now. No one wants to talk about it because everyone's too scared to talk about the last days, the end times, the return of Jesus Christ. They don't want to touch that subject because it scares people. But it's real. We have to talk about it. Why does no one preach Revelation anymore? Why? It may seem impossible, but these nations will submit to one individual ruler. Now, it's not just going to be because of this, because of the virus. No, there'll be other things as well, natural disasters that I believe are going to be happening too that are going to lead towards that. But what they're trying to implement right now, this new system, this new society is going to be, it, well, it is, you know, uh, very, uh, very, very similar to what the Antichrist system will be. And no doubt they'll tweak it and they'll make it effective, not just in Austria and other countries, but the entire world. The entire world will go that way. And so you're not going to see leaders opposing this, especially not there in Europe. Okay. Now, Austria is not the first country to do this. Indonesia, Micronesia, just two others. And there's one other as well. I think it's, um, I think it's Tajikistan, I believe. Uh, I might not be pronouncing that completely correct. So correct. So forgive me about that. But they are the first European country to do this. We already know how bad Australia has been. You know, they have uh, they have the quarantine camp set up there for residents so <laughs> that don't take the jab. So ladies and gentlemen, the world is so ripe right now for the arrival of the Antichrist to show up. You know, in addition to that, Austria also uh, imposing this lockdown. It goes into effect on Monday, the 22nd of November. It's basically a 10-day stay-at-home order. It could be extended if cases don't fall. It's going to, you know, shut down non-essential businesses. Here I go again, right? We heard this before in the United States. Shut down non-essential businesses. You know, it's going to, you know, limit, you know, people to working from home if they can if they can do that, you know, in, in the usual. So you need to be aware of these things that are happening. Not afraid, but aware. The Lord is preparing his people and he's trying to wake up those who don't know him for what's to come. So they don't have to be a part of this when it does unfold. Which leads me to this, why we do these videos. Talking about end time Bible prophecy headlines because we're trying to get people to Jesus Christ. We're trying to reach people to accept Jesus as Savior. Because the world is going to look to a false Savior, but you need to look to the real Savior. Jesus Christ, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. And I'll lead you in that prayer right now. You can put this in your own words. I'll give you the steps that you need. First thing you want to do, for some it's the most difficult, but that's acknowledge that you're a sinner. It's something that we all are, but God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to do what? Die on that cross for the sins of all the world. He died and rose again for you and me. He paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin. Repent means to turn from sin, not just to say you're sorry, but to turn from lifestyles, habits, whatever it is in your life that goes against the word of God. You ask Jesus to forgive you. He wipes that sin away. The Bible says he won't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. I pray you make that decision today. I'll have more. For you guys on this down below, you can let me know your thoughts. Don't forget the links to donate to our ministry are there as well. It is a great blessing if you could help us out. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you.
and I'll talk with you soon.